Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make an album cover just like this one in Adobe Photoshop. So, let's get right into it. So we're just going to create a new document now. Just make sure the pixels are 2500 by 2500. And then make sure to change the background contents to black. And there you go. Just click create. Okay, so you should be left with a black background just like this one. And never mind this assets folder. I will go through it as the thing goes on, but you should not have an assets folder. All you should have is this layer right here. And if you do, good job. Okay, so first we're going to put a photo in here because I am going off this one and there is a big photo at the center stage of this album cover so I got another photo of the weekend a beautiful beautiful photo if you if I do say so myself uh, <laughs> okay so then we are going to select the move tool make sure the move tool is selected and we are going to put this photo up into the corner of the album art right there Cool. All right, by the way, if you do not have show transform controls ticked, make sure to tick it because that is what allows you to rotate, to resize, to do anything to the image. So, okay. Now we are going to do a half tone effect on the photo. So pretty much first we need to make sure these colors, the foreground color and the background color are what we want to turn this photo into. So we're pretty much going to turn a normal photo into a colorful one like this one. Just make sure the colors you want them to turn into are selected up here already. Okay, so first we go click on the photo, go to filter, go to filter gallery, then get go into sketch and then click on halftone pattern. Now. As you can see here, it's got that kind of halftone effect going on. Make sure the pattern type is dot. And now we can kind of mess around with the, uh, the effects here to get what we want out of it. Make the size smaller, size bigger, whatever, right? So I'm just gonna go with like a small size like that and a higher contrast. So yeah, kind of like that. I'm liking that, I'm liking that. Um, <laughs> so yeah, just mess around with it till you get what you want. Okay, so now we've got that going on. Next, what you want to do is get the text tool down here, the big T for text tool, and then we're going to make a text layer. So just do that. And the text is quite big right now, but we're going to change that. So just write the, uh, the album title or whatever, you know, whatever you want to call the album. So I'm just going to write in Starboy. Starboy. So, okay. We are going to have to make this text smaller. So double click the text layer right here and then go to this and then make it about, what, 150, something like that. Mm, okay. Yeah, something like 150. Okay, so we are going to rotate this, so just get this icon to come up on the cursor right here, then turn it, and if you if you want to do it more precisely, then hold shift, so it does it kind of like this, it's, it's very exact with its measurements. Ugh. Okay, then we're going to move it right here. Now with the text tool selected, we are just going to make this a little bigger here and double click the text layer again, then we're going to make it a bit smaller so it fully fits on the side there. Oh, still a bit too big, still a bit too big. So we'll try 120. Yep, now here is a nifty little trick if your letters are too spacey. Just click on this button up here called the character and paragraph panels which brings them up and then with this icon you can kind of mess around with how far away the words are the letter the letter spacing so let's do that right now yes i'm liking it i'm liking it 
Okay, so we're just gonna put that there. Make sure it's kind of even with the rest of the image. Now, by the way, the text, the font I'm using is called Former DJR Banner, the bold version of that. I'm gonna put a link in the description below if you wanna use the same font or whatever. So yeah, or just use whatever font you want, really. It, it doesn't matter, it doesn't bother me, but like if you wanna use the same font, there is a link in the description below. Okay, so next thing we are going to do is make a new layer by clicking the new layer button down here. Click that, it creates a new layer. Then we are going to hold control on the keyboard. So your mouse turns into that and then click on the text layer. So it should have the text highlighted like so. Okay, so in this new layer we just created, select the gradient tool over here. Now make sure your gradient is the colors that we used for this image up here. You can go to basics and it should be there still selected. Okay, now just hold shift and do that with the gradient tool and it should put a gradient effect over the text. It gives it that kind of gradient look. Now we can also add a bit of noise to this to give it a bit more texture. So we go to filter, noise, add noise, and then we kind of mess around with it till we get what we want. So yeah, 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 yeah. That looks good, that looks good. Okie dokie. Okay, so now we are going to use this text layer and use it to create this second subtext down here that says the weekend. We are going to do that. So we will press the eyedrop on the gradient just to hide it. Now hold shift when you move it down so it stays fairly straight. Okay, there we go. Now we are just going to rename it to the weekend cool, like that now we'll probably have to make it about the 60 so we'll try 60 yeah yeah yeah. that's not too bad not too bad okay so we are just going to double click this text layer here by double clicking and you should get this layer style panel come up then go down to stroke select it so we're just going to make the stroke size about yeah, something like that, like six or five. We'll try six and we'll make sure it's the red color. And click OK or, oh, actually we'll make sure it's the yellow color just because yellow will look better possibly. So just make sure you have the yellow selected. You can use the see you can use the eyedropper tool up here it will come up automatically and then you can select what color you want so press ok and then we should have a yellow stroke going on cool 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 then what we want to do is still with the text layer selected we go to the fill section and then we make it zero so now we only have this kind of outline going on just like this one we can even make the line spacing a bit more so remember this button up here brings up the character panel which can select the line spacing for you. So yeah, I think that looks good. Okay, now what we're gonna do is right click on that layer and press duplicate layer. Okay, then we have two of them. So we are just going to move this one down a bit like that. So make sure you have the move tool selected and we are just going to pinch this little box here and move it down a bit so it gets kind of like that. Like that, cool. Now make sure the layer is below the original layer. So I'm gonna call this layer uh, the weekend text to smaller. 
Okay, cool. Then we are going to do that again. So right click, duplicate layer, press OK. Then move that layer to the smallest one and then do the same thing. Just pinch it kind of like that. Cool. Okay, I'm going to just move these out a bit. So I'm going to move that one there, that one there. How did I do it here? Oh, okay, yep. Yeah, I did a kind of an overlapping thing. All right. So put that, put that there, put that there, da, da, da. make sure they're kind of overlapping the same. Cool, 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 cool. Actually, I think I even want to make this one a little more smaller, so we'll just do that. Cool. All right, so then what you want to do is get this, this, this middle one here and then click opacity and put it down to about 50%. 50%, then click the smallest one, so this one down here, and then take the opacity down to 25%. So it's kind of looking like it's fading like that. So I'm just gonna move the whole lot here. Just move it down a bit more. Okay, that is not looking too bad, not looking too bad at all. Okay, so to so just add a little bit more kind of uh, album kind of vibes to this, I brought in a parental sticker down here. You can just get them off Google Images, type in parental advisory content sticker, PNG, and you can just put it in, easy, right? And then I also got a barcode, but you can't see it because it's black, so it's blending in. But once we put the gradient maps over them, you will see it. So we are just going to click barcode. Go to this panel down here and then click on the gradient map. Okay, so that's gone over everything, but that's okay. All we do is just right click on the gradient map and then do create clipping mask, which clips it to the barcode. Now, make sure, again, make sure you have the right colors selected. They should be in the basics folder here. Um, so yeah, I got the right colors selected. Ooh. Why did it just change? <laughs> I have no idea why it just changed, but make sure you have the right colors selected in this gradient here. Okay, I'm gonna do reverse, so it makes it red. Yep, that looks cool. Now we're gonna do the same with the parental sticker down here too. So click this panel click uh, gradient map, right click, create clipping mask. There we go. And yes, yes, I think that looks good. You can click reverse to change the color, reversing essentially. Um, yeah, so that's that. Okay, so we are just going to make uh, a little more text down the bottom left. We are just gonna do this mania text right here. So I'm going to copy the weekend text once again, but this time I'm going to rotate it like such. Move it down here. And I'm gonna double click the text part and then I'm going to rename it to Mania. But this time I'm going to make the color of the stroke red. The, yes, so use the eyedropper. There we go. I'm just gonna put that under there. So what you wanna do next is just to duplicate this layer. Duplicate, then I'm gonna move it down. Hold shift so it stays in place. Then we are going to uh, turn off the stroke and then put the fill back up to 100%. So it should look something like that. Now, hmm. Okay, so you could do any colors you want, but I think I'm gonna put this one red, like the one above. So red, there we go. Oh, why did it not change to red? Why is it not changing to, okay, there we go. <laughs> okay, um, so we'll put that there a bit. Put that there. And we're going to move it there. Cool, 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 cool. Might move it a little bit more. 
lot of it's just moving it around, seeing where you would want it to be placed, and yeah. Okay. Okie dokie, so we've got that going on. Okay, cool. So what we're gonna wanna do now is right click on these text layers, click rasterize type, and do it again for this one, rasterize type. Now they are kind of, you can't edit the text anymore, but you can do things like this to it. So pretty much click on one of them, go to filter, liquify. And we're just going to add the twirl clockwise tool and just do a bit of this right here. Give it a bit of pizzazz, make it pop a little bit. You know how it is, you know how it is. And we're just going to do that again for this one. There we go. So I'm just going to move this a bit lower like that. Okie dokie, I am liking this, I am liking this. Okay, so finishing touches. I'm going to add a paper texture to the entire thing. So I have my paper texture here. When I turn it on, it will fully turn it into this, okay? So I'm gonna put some links in the description below for some grainy paper textures you can use for free to give your album this kind of final look that makes it really look authentic and papery and you know everything a good album should look like right so we have that there i've put the blending mode to exclusion which i feel like is the best way but you can do any blending mode you want whichever one you feel like fits best you know i even think lighten looks pretty good right now but i will stick with exclusion okay now, as you can see, it looks a little dry, so what we're going to do is click on the grain texture, go down here again, click on levels, and we're going to mess with the levels until we get a good look going on. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna drag this one a bit, I'm gonna drag this one up a bit. So I'm going to stick with that and then for even more final touches you can go down here and go to Vibrance. Click on this one and then you can put the Vibrance up a bit and the Saturation up a bit if you want to. I'm, yeah, you could go crazy with it if you want, but I'm not going to go crazy. I'm just going to put the Vibrance up a little bit and give it a bit of pizzazz. So there you have it. That is how you make an album cover. By the way, if you wanted to export it, go to File, Export, Export As, and then make sure JPEG is selected here. And then click Export. Yeah, and there you have it. That is how you make this pretty epic album cover. Uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I will talk to you soon. Thank you, bye.